that we have gotten Halloween out of the way, all of the trick-or-treating and the costumes, it's time to set up for Thanksgiving. This is Kira Sam. She is the newest addition to the 12 News team, and she's here to show us some fall decor that will impress your family around the dinner table. Welcome. Your first time on Thank the beach. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Excited to have you. So we love a good and crafty DIY and we love to stay in a budget. So you have a centerpiece that we can put out. This can be for the entire season, all fall long, not just right. Thanksgiving, and it's all under five bucks, right? Kiara, talk to us about what we're making. So we're making a leaf jar today, and it's relatively inexpensive. She mentioned that it's only five bucks, and we got everything from the dollar store. How I started it off, I'll just hop right in, is eyeballing the leaves and the jar. So okay. you might have a mason jar and it might be a little smaller than this, but for this jar, I kind of took three leaves okay. and eyeballed to see how many leaves would need to be enough so that it could go around the whole jar. Okay. So I found out that about 10 leaves together go around the jar. Oh, so you created a little... A, a leaf. What do you call this, garland almost? <laughs> I guess, a leaf sleeve. A leaf we sleeve. We can call it that. Leaf shade. Okay. <laughs> so, you take the Mod Podge after you put your leaves in order. Uh -huh. I like mine to be, you know, different colors. Just kind of switch it up. Right. All right, so make sure you have nice little variation of the colors going. You get 10 in a row. Take Correct. the Mod Podge, just a little dab at the just top of each. Just a little dot. So okay. You can do a little bit more than this. I Not eat. that. <laughs> Make sure that if you're doing this, you're doing it on a surface that you're not afraid to get a little messy. <laughs> we don't want that much glue, but you're just going to take a little glue, dab it at the top, and obviously make your chain. All right, so once you have your chain going, let's take one that's already done so that we can go around. It takes about 15 minutes to dry, so okay. if you're in a rush, you probably don't want to do this one. Okay. But once your leaves are in a row, you want to go ahead and... Put some Mod Podge on the jar. So do you coat the entire jar first, or do you just do a little dab at the top and a little dab at the end of the leaf garland? Yeah, so you would put the Mod Podge around the middle. I like to okay. start in the middle because it makes the jar look a little more full Okay. when you're putting the leaves on. So you just spread the Mod Podge. And what I'm noticing about the one that's already done, it looks like you got some layers going on here. Right. Um, so you're letting the leaves overlap. So once you put them on, don't feel like you have to just keep them in a nice little row by themselves. Just let them overlap so it gives that nice look of just being full and kind of realistic because when you go out in nature, that's how the leaves look, right? Right. They topple on top of each other. All right. And then to finish it off, all you got to do is take one of these electric candles, which these come in handy for so many different things, um, and you drop it right inside of your centerpiece. And then when the dinner table is set and the lights are dim, you'll be able to see, I think you can see it from right there, it's just illuminating through those leaves and it gives you a really nice soft light because a of the warm colors. warm feeling exactly. for the fall time. Warm feeling for the fall, all for $5. If you decide to recreate this beautiful centerpiece, go ahead and use the hashtag TheBeat on 12. We would love to check it out. Kira, are you going to come back and share some more of tips course. with us? Of course. I have to get more crafty and a little bit more fast with this, <laughs> but of course I would love to come back on your show. Sounds like a plan.